Good morning everyone, it's Tracy of Move Daily Fitness. This workout today is gonna to be a hearty leg day, so everything leg specific. I have a few cardio-esque exercises in between the strength sets. I'm gonna use a box or a bench to jump up on, but if you don't have one of those, I'll show you a modification for a low impact version, or you can always alter the size of your box, okay? So I've, I've got this one that has a bunch of different sides. You could also use a step or a riser. You're also gonna require a variety of dumbbells, so grab those. I'm gonna start with a leg-specific warm-up down on the mat here, so join me for that, or you can jump to the number at the bottom of the screen, and I'll see you over there. All right, let's do this and move daily. kneeling, reach it all the way back, give me a good little glute stretch here, we'll just get your inner thighs, your groin, your glutes warmed up nicely here, so I'm really sitting back down into that glute, and then pushing myself back up, bringing the leg back up, with three more in this side here, good, one more right here, oh, that burns the glute, okay, switch your sides here, and Again, sit all the way back and up. Yeah, I was definitely feeling leg day today, so that's good. <laughs> that means I'll have a lot of energy to do this because it's going to be work. Um, as I was writing it this morning, I'm like, ugh, yikes, some of that looks, looks challenging, but what doesn't kill you it makes you stronger <laughs> and such. Okay, last one there. Good. Just lie on your back. Okay, we're just gonna go for some frog thrusters. So feet together, knees are out, just up and down like this. Let's go for about 40 reps here. Just really wanna warm glutes up, okay? Just up and down, that's 10. Whew, yeah, inner thighs, feel that already. And my glutes, there they are, starting to burn. All right, you're halfway there, that's 20. 20 more here. There's 30, we have 10 more, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Let's just go into windshield wipers here, get that torso and your glute knee warmed up here. So arms are out to the side. I'm just rotating side to side. Nice and slow and controlled, not letting my legs touch the ground, but almost. Good, you've got five more here. And four. Oh, that's a good stretch, isn't it? Three. Two, and last one over here. And we're gonna get into a crouching position here. All right, just stay down here, but crouch it out. Okay, hands on the inside of your legs, and let's just do a little hip opener in here. Just, I'm pressing my knees with my elbows, just pushing them out, getting a good groin stretch in there. And now I'm gonna stand and squat alternately for eight, good. Two. Four more here. Oh, that feels so good in the hamstrings. Three, two, one and walk it out with those feet. Just walk nice and wide, round up through the back, roll those shoulders, and we're touching hand to opposite foot. Two for 10 here. Two more. Good, and last here. All right, we're gonna do a little hip rotation out and then in, okay, same leg, out and in. I'll tell you when to switch. Two more in this leg, seven, one more here. All right, switch legs, up and over and out and in. Four 
four more. Good, last one here. Open, whew. Let's get that burns. Feet shoulder width apart. Let's go into a squat. Overhead reach up to your tiptoes here. Let's get a little bit of blood flowing to the areas. What are we starting with? Just a weighted squat front kick is your first exercise coming up. So that's not too hard. Right off the hop, let's take it wide and just give me a little plie stretch here. Good, three more and we're getting started. Two and one. All right, grab your variety of dumbbells. Make sure your boxer bench is handy and let's get started. All right, starting with a squat front kick. I think I'll just start with a 15 pound dumbbell just to start with. Okay, right up here, squat front kick, alternating legs. Go low and kick. That kick adding a nice little quad component here. Want the elbows good down toward the knees. But you gotta stay super tall in the upper body here. Okay, don't bend forward. Got that step up lateral lunge next. If you're not using a step today, you're gonna do a squat lateral lunge instead. Okay, so I'm setting that down. Bring my bench. I'm gonna do it without weights, round one. So I'm gonna step up, high knee, down, lateral, okay? Here we go, step up, down, lateral lunge. Up and down. So I'm stepping up with my right leg, lunging also with my right. I'm gonna stay on this side for a full 45 seconds, okay? Definitely burn it out. Good, switch sides. Now I'll be doing the work with my left leg. Again, if you don't have the box, you're modifying with a squat into a lunge like that. All right, ready? Here we go. Up, my knee, down, lunge. Now this next exercise is going to be a lateral box shuffle. You can do it on the floor, I'll show you. It's like if you're using a chair or something, you're not probably going to be able to do it up on the elevated surface. Okay, but you're just going to do a side to side here, okay, if you're not using an elevated surface. Otherwise, I'm going to shuffle side to side. It's going to get the heart rate up for sure. Here we go. So it's up down, just like this. If you're on the ground, I want you to get really aggressive with this. Okay, nice and quick. Punch out in front of you hard. Quad burn here for me. Okay, woo! 
Woo! That was hard. Okay, squat with a power knee. So, another little cardio exercise here. You're gonna squat in the center, jump knee. So low, jump, jump. Modify this here without the jump, okay? Your hips back on that lunge. Reach, reach here. Remember that outside leg is like it's doing a squat. Switch your legs. A lot of work. Tell ya. Okay. Here we go. Shoulders back. Drive the knee, step, and lunge. Okay. Whew. Good. 
squat power knee. Let's walk it out. All right, let's do it. because your glutes are that low, 90 degrees or lower. Starting off this workout with a bang, hey? <laughs> I didn't know. Sometimes I write it and then I don't realize until I'm in it. Just like you. Well, you just break his knee. I feel good. Just keep going. Ready? Here we go. Left leg up. Cardiovascularly. Deep breath in, slow exhale. I'm gonna heart rate down as you can. Here we go. Sorry, I blew my nose. Got 
one. Is it run? Okay. Last exercise here. I'm gonna bring my heart rate down a bit. I'm gonna modify it here. A few seconds. I'm ready. about a two or three minute break. I encourage you to do the same. See you back. You're starting with a diagonal front lunge. Normally I would go heavier on this, but my heart rate is still skyrocketing here. I paused for a bit, but I don't want to overdo it. So I'm going to use eights in each hand. You're diagonally lunging. So you're here, alternate here. Good. So it's not straight in front, but if this hurts your knee at all, then feel free to go directly in front. Okay. Bit of a different angle. A little bit more difficult. Push back up from that compromised position. We're gonna do a step behind on the box. I'll show you quickly what it looks like on the floor. Okay, so on the floor, one leg is stationary, you're just gonna tap side to side on the box or your riser. Same idea, but I will call halfway on this one. Get low, low position. Now you're tap, tap, just like that. A little burnout as it were. Don't come up out of squat. Unless you're dying. <laughs> it's a burn. Four, three, two, switch legs quickly and work. A little glute thrust, feet elevated if you have a smaller elevation. I'm gonna use my 20 on my pelvis. Oh, brutal. Okay, my feet are going up on there. I'm on my back. And we're thrusting. Hold that dumbbell well. Up and down. Do not over arc your back here. Remember, pelvis is tucked under. And if you feel this in your lower back, feel free just to do this from the floor. Feet do not need to be elevated. Okay? So far this is a very hard workout. Wow. I did say hardy. Get on the ground, okay, bare position. Your legs are hopping in and out, kind of like a jack, okay? So hover, now jack them here. This could also be modified with a tap, just like this. Just stay and hover. Okay, that was not 
top. Okay, diagonal front lunge. What am I doing to ourselves? <laughs> okay, nice and tall, shoulders back. Here we go. Slight diagonal.
You ready? Stay low. Burns a quad so bad. Okay, switch legs. Getting about 20 aside here. The eight pulse squat is next. Okay. Oh, I'm gonna pull my mat over next time. It was hard on the knees. Okay. 
you wide. Pulse at the bottom, shoulders back. So low, low, push through the heels. Feet point out here. Lateral twist jump. I'm gonna do it onto my box. You're gonna do it on the floor as well. Okay, or onto your low riser. If you don't feel comfortable, just stay on the floor. Okay, so on the floor, you're just gonna start here, squat position, low, like that, okay? <clears throat> Otherwise, I'm gonna attempt it onto my bench. Okay, so low. And then step down. I'm jumping, landing in a lower squat. With that hand eye coordination. I'll call halfway. One more here. Switching sides. More difficult for me here. Okay, that's good. Okay, woo! Round two, squat curtsy combo. Heart rate's up from that for sure. Okay, side lunge curtsy rather. Here we go. Side lunge. Curtsy. Switch to the sides. Take a step, switch hands, switch legs. Side lunge. All right, prisoner, doubling up my padding, grabbing my other eight, dumbbells at my shoulders. Here we go. Down, down, up, stay low, just tap it. Switch directions. Stay tall. This can be done without weight. Here, stay tall. Try not to lean forward. Just drop your glutes low. All right. Your jump is next. On the ground. On your surface. <laughs> Legs 
do jello. Be mindful your knees don't come together. Really think of them turning out when you get ready for that jump. One more this side. Switch. eight pounds, 16 pounds added to the equation makes a difference. Five seconds. Grab some water and join me right back. It's short, okay? Here's your four burnout exercises. Each is 45 seconds. 
15 seconds in between, we're just gonna knock them out, it's gonna take four minutes, ready? These butt blasters can be done on the ground if you don't have a bench or surface. <laughs> this is gonna be lovely. Okay, yellow, just tap off, don't come up. Here we go, I'll call half on this guy. You're just rapid fire. Squat on the side as well. Oh, we're halfway there. <laughs> Good to sing that second part. Okay. We got 10 seconds, and anyone can do anything. For 10, four, three, two, one, and done. Yeah, you and your advanced, hearty, difficult leg workout at Move Daily. Wow, that was not nothing, was it? Thanks for joining. Um, join me for a little stretch if you can. And hey, if you love a lower body workout, so make sure you check my card at the very end of this video for my playlist on all things lower body, okay? See you later. Okay, girly. I won't re be repeating that one anytime soon. <laughs> That's hard. I'm gonna get into pigeon here. <sighs> that feels so good. Glutes, quads. Not a lot of hamstrings, although I felt them periodically. That was more of a glute, quad, calf workout for me. And cardio. Oh. Let's see, 488 calories burned. Okay. 
Okay. 488. Yeah, that's good. That's a 500 calorie workout. That's nice. Oh, switch legs here. Oh, that is so good. Just to stretch that out, isn't it? You always feel so accomplished when you're done something hard like that. That is one of the huge psychological benefits of moving daily is that it's work, number one, isn't it? It's, a lot of the things are difficult and uh, sometimes painful to endure. And so when you can do that and challenge yourself progressively, like get more challenging as you get more fit, your brain learns to do hard things. And, uh, and you really do build that self-efficacy or that belief in yourself that you are capable of doing difficult things. And I think, you know, like over the years, as I've seen myself grow, even in my business or in my, um, in my own self, like psychological self, emotional self, relational self, I think a big part of that has to do with my consistency in working out and doing things that have been difficult and facing things that are, that are hard and knowing that I'm capable, that I have what it takes to endure. Of course, we all have far more than we think we have in terms of enduring something that's difficult, don't we? Because when you're in a situation, it's like, what choice do you have? You kind of just have to get through it the very best you can. And if you can orchestrate your life in a way that you're building your, um, your wherewithal, your, your endurance, your personality, your characteristics, your um, ability to stay in the pocket, if you're doing that when things aren't difficult, then when things get difficult, you, you're ready. You know, you have what it takes because you've, got, you've done the things in your life to, to orchestrate it in a way that you're growing yourself. And I think that's really important. Um, let's bring this up and up. One of the people who I listen to quite regularly to help me build that part of myself is Jordan Peterson. Um, if you Google that on YouTube here after this video, you can you can be inspired as well by a lot of his conversation. He's very intellectual, he's a psychologist, and uh, but lecturer, speaker, huge YouTuber. And it, uh, he oftentimes uses fairy tales to explain the human condition and the human psyche, and it's, it's interesting to, to hear his take on things like that. Um, yeah, he's been very inspiring to me just to continue to grow myself and not to ever let that part go. Um, and again, growing myself, not just my physical body by paying attention to fitness and nutrition, but my whole internal self and making sure that I then can have the life that I really want, right? Because I've set it up in a way that is healthy and good and that pleases me. That's a little quad stretch here, just really length. Oh yeah, quads were tight on this one. Um, anyway, who do you listen to that inspires you? Maybe there's some, some person that you've been inspired by um, that I haven't listened to yet, but could you share that in the comments below? Because I'd love to hear um, people who I listen to regularly and are inspired by are, uh, yes, people like Jordan Peterson, Tom Bilyeu with all of his guests. I'm inspired by lots of those people over there. Um, Simon Sinek. Brené Brown, Mel Robbins, um, who else do I listen to regularly? Seth Godin. A lot of those people, uh, you know, go below the surface and talk really about um, what's inside of us that's important and critical to grow. So I like that approach, of course, because I have a psychology background, so that, that makes sense to me. Anyway, let me know in the comments below who inspires you, and I'd love to hear that. Thanks for joining. So here's my playlist of the lower body exercises. Don't forget to check out our membership. The links are right there. It's, it's a lot of exclusive workouts as well as fitness, nutrition, and wellness help. All right, I'll see you guys in the next workout.